video for EGT 110 chapter 9.0 uh, we're looking at here the uh, finished product where we have a front view top view and an auxiliary view um, on the right side okay uh, if you have your book you can follow along in the book also uh, kind of going to give you the steps that I've broken down here. Not going to go over everything, but it's kind of um, I have the text that you can follow. Basically, you're going to create one rectangle here, and you're going to copy it up to this point. Okay, and you're going to use the text and all of the uh, coordinates that I give you here and then you're going to rotate that second or top rectangle and again all I did was just use a rectangle or rectangle command here and rotate it and you're going to use 30 degrees and the point that it's going to rotate is right here so just follow the text again next you're going to create the box for the top view and you're going to do some offsetting here point two the top and the bottom line you're going to offset point two inches okay again you're going to come over and you're going to offset again those lines and use three quarters of an inch moving forward you're going to change here from the construction layer to your object layer and you're going to draw the lines here you can kind of see them if you look at the previous view you're going to go up up to this point come back what I would do just come over to here and you're going to use a 30 degree angle where this crosses and you can draw that line longer than you need and trim later but basically you're going to end up with a shape like this okay then you're going to read this text here and you're going to draw a line straight out on the same angle, 30 degrees, and create this box. And again, just read the text. It'll show you, and you can follow in the book also. But you want to box that in, that auxiliary view in here. Now we're ready to start transferring some lines up. And we're going to create that V and the auxiliary view transfer that down as a hidden line all the way to the back of the part transfer those lines up as you see there and once you get that you can see the top view taking shape you can go ahead with your object layer and also if you read let me see where I put that um you want to make sure you turn on your line weight okay i thought i had that in here i'll go back to that okay let's go back here don't see it right away anyway we're at the point now that you're going to go and start uh, filling these in um, I want to see if I can find that right quick okay don't see it right now but we just check that out in the book y what you want to do is just uh, come up here to layer properties and your object layer I changed my line weight to 30 point three okay basically everything is at a default and I increased the line width to point three once you do that just save it get out of that <coughs> and probably you can just come here line weight Let's see if we can get it this way. Yeah, here we go. Line weight. And then 
what you want to do here is just click, okay, this thing, mill inches, millimeters, okay, and then just hit okay. And what that'll do, it'll check all of the lines that you have, and it will display the line weight at the default value, value that you put in in your layer properties, line properties, okay? So, so just type in line weight. You can change these here. And make sure you display line weight right here. And when I do that, it turns on the object layer at a 0.3 width. Okay, so just fill these in. Get rid of all your object layers. I'm sorry, get rid of all your... Um, let's go back here. Construction line that you put in, just go ahead and delete those. I'll copy this over and delete them. And you want to end up with something like this. And finally, you want to have your dimensions placed on the drawing. Once you do that, create a block, insert it into your title block as such, and just place a material and turn that in as 9.0.